my name's Andy Hillier and today's guitar lesson is going to be on Emo Girl by Machine Gun Kelly and Willow. Great little track, it's really easy to play. I'm going to teach you all the guitar parts. Just before I do though, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video and please leave me some comments, let me know what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing and you want to support me, support the channel and you want to print the tabs off for this and loads of other songs, uh, you can do so on my Patreon page, I'll leave a link to that in the description. My guitar's in standard tuning. Uh, now the song starts with an intro like lead guitar part and it sounds like this. <laughs> So to play that, it's mainly on the B string, there's a couple of notes on the G string, but we're going to start on B7 with the third finger, then it goes to B5, I'm using my first finger, then back to B7, and then B5. So the first bar, then into bar 2 I'm going to B8, and then B7, B5, and then upper string to G7. So bar two goes. So the first two bars you've got. And those two bars repeat three times. You'll see double lines and double dots and it says times three above that. So you do the first two bars three times and then you go into the next bar, bar number three, which goes. So to play that, we play B7, B5, B7, B5 twice. Then you go up to G4, and then G7. So bars three going into bar four. Um, you don't play the note in the bracket, that's just held on in bar four. So bars three and four go. Or slowly. So the whole intro goes. So that's the intro. There is another guitar part that goes alongside that, which is the same as the chorus part. So we'll see that when we play the chorus. Um, so after that, it goes to the verse, and there's two guitar parts for the verse as well. There's an arpeggio part and a power chord part. I'm going to teach you the arpeggio part first. So you want a nice cleanish sound. Uh, so it should sound like this. So to play that, we're going to play the open D string. And I'm using my second finger on E2, third finger on B3, then back to the D string, then take your finger off and play the open E string, and that note lasts for twice as long as all the other notes, because it's a crotchet, and then B3, and then D. So bar five slowly goes. And then you'll notice in bar six, it's got a little percentage mark, which means you play exactly the same as what was in the previous bar. So basically you're playing bars five, and then six is the same as bar five. So you play bar five twice. So uh, bars five and six should sound like this. Now the next bar, bar seven, is exactly the same, apart from instead of playing the D string, we're going to play the G strings. So it goes like this. Again, bar seven and eight are exactly the same. Bar nine, we're going to put our first finger on A2, and it's exactly the same as the other bar, so A2 down to the um, E2, B3, then the A2 again. Take your finger off, play the open E, then B3, and then the A2. So bar nine, and then bar ten's the same. And then bars 11 and 12 are the same as bars 7 and 8. So you've got. So 
So slowly the whole line goes. Okay, so that's the clean guitar part. At the same time as that, we go on to the next line, which is, gives us the verse, um, the power chords that go through the verse. They go. So we've got A5 and D7. That's a D power chord. We do eight in each bar. Uh, the bar 13 and then bar 14 got a percentage, so you just play exactly the same as bar 13 in bar 14. So you've got two bars of the D5, so it goes. So you just palm mute it. Uh, then the next bar goes to E3 with A5 and two bars of that. And then it goes to A2, we're in bar 17 now, A2 and D4. And then bar 19 goes back to the E3 and A5. So the whole line goes. Okay, so that's the verse part. You could play either the, the arpeggio part or that verse part. Or you could play the arpeggio part for the first part of the verse and then the power chords for the second half. Uh, then we get the chorus which goes like this. So that's a D power chord, so A5 and D7. No um, palm muting for this. Uh, and you play one bar of that. And then in the next bar, bar 22, you do four hits on it. Then just take your first finger off and play the open A string with D7. So bar 22 goes. So bars 21 and 22 go. Then it goes to a G power chord in bar 23. And then bar 25, it goes down to E two with A5, so you've got to do a big stretch. I'm using my first finger and my little finger. Uh, so E2, A5. Then bar 27 goes back to the G power chord, which is fret three on the E string and five on the A string. So let's put the whole of the chorus together. Here we go, one, two, three, four. And that just repeats, um, and then it does the lead guitar part. Uh, from the intro, goes into a verse, uh, and then just chorus, and then there's like a verse which feels like a middle eight, but it's exactly the same as a verse, and then chorus to finish the song. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, it really does help me out. Give me a like on the video, uh, and please leave me some comments. Let me know where in the world you're from, let me know what songs I should do next, what you thought of the video, or, and if you just want to say hi, just say hi, it'd be amazing to hear from you. Um, and if you love what I'm doing, and you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print the tabs off for this, um, I'll put it on my Patreon page, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Well thanks for watching this, I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time.